All right, so I'm going to go over one of my favorite things in Quote IQ, and that is the email automation. Email automation, in my opinion, is one of the best ways for you to stay in contact, stay in front of, and continue to engage with your customers. So let's get right into it. I'm going to share my screen with you and kind of show you how to set up your own email automation. All right, so you go over to your dashboard and you navigate down to email automation. Uh, within email automation, you are going to see all of the triggers at the top of the screen. Estimate created, estimate scheduled, estimate declined, and we can go into each of these, and invoice paid. What's going to happen is each of these is going to be a trigger, and I'm going to explain to you exactly what I'm talking about. So when your customer or yourself schedule an estimate, they are going to get an email based on your parameters. So you can see that step one here is, are you ready to schedule? Now, all of these I've put in myself, and I'm going to show you right here. So the automation trigger event is the estimate is created. Okay, you can choose from any of these, but obviously we just created the estimate. You are gonna select the automation type. I selected email here. You, you can also do a text message. Then the send type is when are you gonna do it? Because we are doing this after the uh, estimate was created, it's gonna be either immediately upon that estimate being created or a set time after. Now I like to do it after because they're already gonna get an email from Quote IQ saying, here's your estimate, here's the price, accept, decline, whatever. Now I've set this up so it's going to send 30 minutes after. Now you can set this up for any time frame: 30 minutes, an hour, three hours, one day, and then two days all the way up to like two years away. So I've got this set up to deliver to the customer 30 minutes after the estimate was initially created. And we've also put in here, cancel automation events. So at any point where the customer has scheduled they've declined or they paid their invoice, these are no longer going to send, okay? So after this email, if any of these automated cancellation events occurs, no more emails will be sent. So this is where we get into the content and the body of the email. You can use whatever you want in these. So I've named this template, are you ready to schedule? The email subject line is ready to schedule and then the customer's first name. Then you can go into the email body and you can enter whatever it is that you want, right? I have said, uh, hey, customer first name. And what's really cool about Quote IQ is we have set this up so you can select all of these uh, presets that will auto populate from the information that has already been input. We've got the company name, the customer first name, customer last name. We have got the creation date. We've got the estimate total, a service list. So everything that they have gotten an estimate on, as well as a link to the original estimate. So they can go back and review that. All you need to do is put the little at symbol there and that will pop up and you guys can check that out. So as you can see here, this is basically the way that I like to go about it. And uh, once everything is done, you simply save the template. So that is just one example. And you can go in and create as many as you want. I've got emails that are generated to set up one day, three days, six days, and seven days after the initial estimate is created. Obviously, these have been set up to uh, continue until they either schedule or they decline or they tell me to get lost. So then once the estimate is scheduled, you can go in and do a couple things. I have got an immediate reminder of appointment. So basically once they have scheduled their appointment, they get an email that says your appointment with my company has been scheduled. It gives them the date. It gives them the time, the list of services. And then I've also included a little link to one of my websites that has got how to prepare for your appointment. So these are just a couple examples. So the next step uh, for my company, at least, is I've got an SMS message set up one hour before the scheduled appointment. So the day of their appointment, I've got this set up, which basically sends to their phone uh, one hour before we arrive, just saying, hey, it's Mike with All American. One of our technicians is headed your way for your appointment. Thanks again. So we've got all kinds of things set up. And then uh, one day before, so the night before, they also get uh, an email reminder just reminding them that we're coming. And this does a lot of things. It obviously shows how professional we are, that we're on top of things. Uh, we want them to be prepared, more importantly, for our arrival. So if the trigger is the estimate was declined, then you can go and set something up. Basically, all this one says is, hey, thanks for giving us the opportunity to quote you. Uh, should you need anything in the future, please let us know. All right. So once the invoice is paid, this is my favorite. 
This is where we can really stay in front of our customers for a long period of time. After they pay their invoice, they get one 30 minutes later asking for a review. In about three months, I do a little follow-up email, just you know, checking in, giving them a $75 credit on any service. Then six months later, I just say, hey, I was just thinking about you. You know, We appreciate our customers. Please let me know if there's anything that you need. And then 11 months, this is the money maker. Just the 11 month reminder saying, hey, it's been about a year since we were there. Please let us know if there's anything that we can do for you, or if you'd like to get back on the schedule, here's a link to your original estimate. These are the services that you got. Here are the prices. Let us know when you want us to get back out there. So that is it in a nutshell. We have got this set up so you guys can stay in front of your customers from the initial estimate all the way through until a year or two years, whatever the case is, after their initial appointment. This is a great marketing tool as well. You can, you can populate that last email sequence with as many emails as you want, staying in front of these customers, reminding them who you are, staying top of mind. Not only are you going to you know, retain that customer, hopefully for a very long time, but maybe you're going to pick up some businesses, pick up some reviews. Uh, so that's it. Thanks guys for watching. If you've got any questions, please contact support and uh, we'll get right back to you. See ya.